the FDA is moving to try to ban vitamin C. You cannot make this up. We're going to break down Codex Alimentarius and what's going on. I'll continue with your calls. I've been a bit wound up today. I'm also going to hit a smattering of more of the international news. Uh, Libya is still going on. They're going for Palestinian statehood. Look for a big crisis to happen there. Uh, you've got Wiener, the Wiener seat lost in New York to a Republican. That's just people desperately running from party to party. We don't like Bush. Obama, save us. We don't like Obama. Bachman, save us. And uh, I don't know. The, the media does attack Bachman more than Mitt Romney or Rick Perry. So I guess that's why Ron Paul says he likes her. He just disagrees with her on some things. I mean, I got to say, it, it's like Ron Paul, Bachman, and then you just can't vote for any of the others. And Bachman is not, not good compared to Ron Paul. I've just made a study of her. Um, if we, the word is you're going to get a Rick Perry, Sarah Palin, if that works. Or it's going to be a Rick Perry, Bachman. But now they've been fighting with each other so much. I mean, there was never behind-the-scenes stuff going on. There was behind-the-scenes with Palin. I've confirmed that. Do you understand me how big of news this is? The average person doesn't even believe me when I say this stuff. I told you Perry was going to have a pledge and break it, and he would run, and I, all this stuff, and it happened. I, I told you uh, that Lou Dobbs was going to Fox News three months before it happened. Everybody was blown away by that. And I said, we Fox Business, because uh, I had that from sources. And I told you that Rick Perry and Sarah Palin, like two dogs, have been sniffing each other's, you know what, they are looking at that that is in the cards. I will tell you that. That is in the cards. Bigger than Dallas. And it could end up um, being a um, Romney Bachman, too. But, oh, man. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Chris in Iowa. Chris, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, I love your show. Um, I would disagree just with that. I think Ron Paul is going to take it. I think there's enough Ron Paul people. I'm calling from central Iowa. I was at the straw poll. It was Ron Paul people everywhere. Michelle Bachman people a little here, a little there, but Ron Paul people were everywhere. And I found out a week later that if you wanted to see Randy Travis in concert. No, that was confirmed. You had to buy a ticket uh, in the straw poll for her. No, she bought 4,000 of her 4,300 votes. So Ron Paul beat her by about 90%, even though he was a statistical uh, you know, by a nose, uh, second place to her, you know, 201 votes behind her out of, you know, thousands and thousands. But it expands on that. Did you see Wall Street Journal's only said Bachman, Perry, and uh, Romney yesterday, and other was Ron Paul, and it was 60-plus percent? The polls obviously are run by people that want you to, even the, the John Stewart, I can't really use that guy, but he did a great parody on, how the media has been treating Ron Paul. Well, it wasn't a parody. He showed the clips how it's a talking point. And you know the fix is in. Look, look, look you said you disagree. If you no, took away disagree. from what I'm saying that Ron Paul isn't going to win, he can win, he should win, and he wins just by running. If he doesn't win the big prize, he wins by fighting, getting the word out, and, 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 and illustrating real issues, okay, and growing liberty. But he can win. I'm saying the establishment intends for the president to be Rick Perry. Okay, inside baseball, Republicans, they want Rick Perry, and they have put him and um, the uh, Alaskan queen, beauty queen, together repeatedly in the political stable to, to sniff each other, and that there may be a political birth out of that. Uh, that's what I'm telling you, is, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that that's in the cards big time. You see what I'm saying? I believe you're probably right. They, I know they don't like Ron Paul. It's become so dang obvious. Don't well, like him. Ron They're scared Paul, to death of him. Well, I mean, what if he had such a huge showing that they can't, you know, they, they can't suppress him? Well, that's what's happening. That's what's happening right now, Chris. Beautiful. I agree with you. Ron Paul's dominating. That's why they're going, he can't win, he can't win, he can't win, he can't win, he can't win.